Mount Judi Arabic, Aljdi al Gudayi, Aramaic, Credo Kardu, Kurdish, Kudai Circumflex, Classical Syriac, Credo Kardu, Turkish, Kudi, also spelled Gudi and Kutu, according to very early Christian and Islamic tradition based on the Quran, Hud, 44, is Nos Apobatarian or, place of descent, the location where the Ark came to rest after the Great Flood. The Quranic tradition is similar to the Judeo Christian legend. The identification of Mount Judi as the landing site of the Ark persisted in Syriac and Armenian tradition throughout late antiquity but was abandoned for the tradition equating the biblical location with the highest mountain of the region, Mount Ararat. Jewish Babylonian, Syriac, and Islamic traditions identify Mount Judi or Kardu as a peak near the town of Jazirat ibn Umar modern Siz, at the headwaters of the Tigris, near the modern Syrian-Turkish border. Arab historian al Masudi d. 956, reported that the spot where the Ark came to rest could be seen in his time. al Masudi locates Jabal Judi at 80 parasangs from the Tigris. Mount Judi was historically located in the province of Corduin, south of Lake Van. <laughs> Name The relation of some of the spellings is clear. The origin of Judi is less clear. It is usually interpreted as a corrupted version of the same name, via Algerdi Reynolds 2004. The proposal that the two names are ultimately the same was first advanced by the English Orientalist George Sale in his translation of the Quran published in 1734. Sale's footnote reads, This mountain is one of those that divide Armenia on the south, from Mesopotamia, and that part of Assyria which is inhabited by the Kurds, from whom the mountains took the name Kardu, or Gardu, by the Greeks turned into Gordae, and other names, Mount al Judi, which seems to be a corruption, though it be constantly so written by the Arabs, for Jordi, or Jordi, is also called Thamanan. Probably from a town at the foot of it, Sale goes on to say that there was once a famous Christian monastery on the mountain, but that this was destroyed by lightning in the year 776 AD, following which the credit of this tradition hath declined, and given place to another, which obtains at present, and according to which the Ark rested on Mount Masis, in Armenia, called by the Turks Agri Da. <laughs> Christian tradition The Syrians of the East Tigris had a legend of the Ark resting on the Judi mountain in the land of Corduin Kard, Korchake, Karduoy. This legend may in origin have been independent of the Genesis account of Noah's flood, rooted in the more general Near Eastern flood legends, but following Christianization of the Syrians, from about the 2nd century AD, it became associated with the mountains of Ararat where Noah landed according to Genesis, and from Syria also this legend also spread to the Armenians. The Armenians did not traditionally associate Noah's landing site with Mount Ararat, known natively as Masis, but until the 11th century continued to associate Noah's Ark with Mount Judi. It is to be noted, the biblical Ararat is thought be a variation of Urartu, an ancient term for the region north of ancient Assyria which encompasses the Armenian plateau. According to Josephus, the Armenians in the 1st century showed the remains of Noah's Ark at a place called Apobatarian place of descent. Armenian, Noxajewan Nakachavan, Ptolemy Naxuana, about 60 miles southeast of the summit of Mount Ararat ca. 39.07 degrees north 45.08 degrees east, 39.07, 45.08. The «mountains of Ararat» in Genesis have become identified in later medieval Christian tradition with the peak now known as Mount Ararat itself, a volcanic massif on the border between Turkey and Armenia and known in Turkish as Agri da, Agri da gi. Topic: Islamic tradition. The Quranic account of the flood and Noah's ark agrees with that given in Genesis, with a few variations. One of these concerns the final resting place of the ark. According to Genesis, the ark grounded on the mountains of Ararat. According to Surah 1144 of the Quran, the final resting place of the vessel was called Judi, without the word mountain. However, the use of Arabic definite letter al in front of word Judi in the Quran signifies that it is pointing to a definite place or mountain, in this case. Has it been referring to a general height, it would have been just Judi, not al Judi. Section and the word was spoken. O earth, swallow up thy waters. 
and, O sky, cease thy reign, and the water sank into the earth, and the will of God was done, and the ark came to rest on al Judi. And the word was spoken, Away with these evil doing folk. Quran, 1144, the 9th century Arab geographer Ibn Khordadba identified the location of Mount Judi as being in the land of Assyria, al -Akrad, and the Abbasid historian Abu al Hasan Ali al c. 896 recorded that the spot where it came to rest could be seen in his time. Masudi also said that the Ark began its voyage at Kufa in central Iraq, and sailed to Mecca, where it circled the Kaaba, before finally travelling to Judi. Yaqat al Hamawi, also known as al Rumi, placed the mountain above Jazirat ibn Umar, to the east of the Tigris, and mentioned a mosque built by Noah that could be seen in his day, and the traveller Ibn Battuta passed by the mountain in the 14th century. <laughs> <laughs> Searches for Mount Judy In the 1980s, adventurer and self-styled archaeologist Ron Wyatt and his colleague David Fasold claimed to have discovered Noah's Ark at Durapinar, some 20 miles from Mount Ararat near a mountain locals called Cuddy Dagi. Fasold later vacillated on the claim. The description of medieval geographer Yaqat al Hamawi matches exactly a 2,089 meters peak north of Silopi, that is now called Jabal Judi or Judi Da by Muslims and Gardu by Christians and Jews. External links Mount Cuddy on Noah's Ark Search. Com. Research concerning Mount Judy, including some English articles. Notes <laughs>